So that's... West Africa. Straight into supply, it went. Interesting. Now that's going to pop for must launch a report any second. There we go. Elite Gunner, Naga Serpents, Heavy Lancer, Sectoid, Elite Priest. No, don't click on Return to Avenger. Four. Oh. The old stobby fat fingers almost struck again. We've been playing a lot of Helldivers, and with the fat fingers, really, I really struggle with that. What I've done is I've put uh, dive, stim, grenade, all on mouse, three, four, and five, which I think I need because, like, having to use my left hand, I want, I want to keep my left hand to keep the, my lad mobile. And then just keeping my brain paths straight in my head about which finger does what when it's a little crazy i find i keep getting stuck aiming down sights when i don't want to frustrating that's because i've got throw grenade on mouse four whereas what you can do is hold down right click for hip fire and then mouse four for aim down sights but i've got it set where hold down right click lets you uh hip fire and then just touching it once it's your aim down sights which in the heat of battle when you've got charges running at you gets a little crazy but i think if i can get used to it it's the way to do it because i don't like having to move my left hand to hit the g to throw a grenade anyways we're playing xcom we're downloading a data cache from an exposed access point it's not the kind of mission where we have to destroy the little nodes, which is good. Eyes on a hostile patrol. This is the pod with the Naga Serpents, so I'm very, very happy to take this pod on now. And get as close as I can. Moving out. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. If they path this way, they could potentially reveal there, so I don't like that. Where do I like Hamilton? Headed there right now. there. Honestly, I might just take a shot from out in the open with my gunner. Then my two assault troopers can run in there and do some work, I think. Bane can order... Nugget. Who can I see from there? The elite gunner. Who has 18 hit points. A 79% chain shot I actually like. Because this would have to crit to kill him. Ideally I want to be able to kill these lads without using run and gun. Grapple is an option. Oh, so look, we've got Rage Strike on one of them and Grapple on the other. <coughs> Chain shot it is. Excellent. Enemy destroyed. Oh, the combat rush. Beautiful. I keep forgetting we about that. It. And she's got a lock and load, so I didn't even use any ammo. So what's cool here now is that one of these, damn, I thought they might be able to blue move. Although, Correa, grapple, grapple, blue move, drop down there, and then leave run and gun off of cooldown. Excellent. Paladin can run and gun, kill the serpents straight up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Illyrium Core, yes, please. On my way. Did 
There's a surprisingly low hit point enemies. Only what nine. What did I expect? Expect you. Go. Rolling out. Advent forces on the ground. Curses. Well, what I can do is I can order Roberts the hail of bullets. And Correa can run here and take a flanking shot. Or I can overdrive and then shoot from there, so at least I'm in half cover. Paladin is miles away. I can't do anything. Unless I overdrive and rage strike. Is it necessary? Hmm. I mean, Bane can move up here and I think one tap the Guardian. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, it's not even a one tap. It's not guaranteed. the command into the uh, hail of bullets is I think that's the one I want to do because the rocketeer is so much more dangerous 4 to 7 damage on the guardian and then Correa can run and gun here and either shoot or zap but it's super ris super super risky Just don't roll minimum damage. If I'm going to expose myself, I think I need to at least have half cover in that direction. Quite likely to aggro something else, but at least then I have the mental resistance. Okay, good. And that's, how it's done. that's run and gun on cooldown, and his grapples on cooldown. That's a pity. But hey, we were in a nasty situation there, so. Okay, so two active there, Sentinel and Sergeant. Still seven remaining after this, so... I mean, that's a flank into high cover. So it's hard, it feels hard to justify turning that down. And I can... Hell of Bullets through cover. I mean, I do still have the mental immunity, so I could even blue move, freeze one of them, shoot the other one. Paladin is how far away? Quite far. But if needed, I'm just imagining what I'm going to do when I aggro another pod here. Okay, there's the sectoid and the priest. And what do we have there? Gunner and shock trooper. I still think i got to take this. Now the thing is, Diamond going in here aggroes that pod. I think I'm gonna have to hit some hit take some hit point damage.
So when I pop this overdrive serum, I don't need to be all that concerned by the sectoid commander. And honestly, then on the next turn, Hamilton can just kill that sectoid commander if that sectoid commander manages to mind control anyone. How do I get the most out of Bane? It's, it's Diamond here that is the trick. Do I go here and just shoot twice through high cover on this Sentinel? Alternatively, I go here, which aggroes that pod. Then I can freeze the Sectoid Commander and double shoot the Sentinel to kill it. Or from here, I can trench gun them. I would need a crit on the trench gun on the Sentinel for that to work. Bane can go here and then command someone to do something useful. Paladin can't run and gun. I can't rage strike because I can't see anyone. <clears throat> I think freeze and trench gun is the way to go. Even that aggroes the other lads, and I'm hoping Alan can do something with these guys here, the shock trooper and the heavy gunner. Hundred percent, seventy-nine. Who else could I freeze usefully? No one really. If that misses, it's not that bad. So this lad is the big issue. Hope we hit and we kill. Damn. Not the outcome I needed. What I can do here now, because these two are super dangerous, I can shred a cannon them both to death. Potentially, I mean from here, I don't think I can hit the sergeant from here. I think I need to be here to hit the sentinel and the sergeant. Sure thing. Can I rage strike to a position that puts me in better high cover? This is interesting, but then I'm still f I'm flanked to the other direction. Oh, there's no way I can hit all three. Get some. Target's eliminated. So someone's going to get damaged and stunned by the Lancer, but I can remove that with... With revival protocol. The elite priest is just going to stasis one of these two. Paladin has the mental immunity still. Raya does not. Uh, damn, Roberts does not have. Oh, damn. The Roberts doesn't have combatives problem but i'm most concerned about diamond here so aid protocol for defense and an overwatch shot these are pretty close they might hit they probably won't hit but they might and then who can i command i can command paladin who could then maybe do what rage strike doesn't really help so the shock trooper is active the priest is active the lancer is active it shows five is active. Who am I missing? Oh, there was, there's a gunner in there somewhere. Roberts could suppress the Lancer. So she at least gets Overwatch. 
Hmm. There's a chance she can overwatch, shoot, and kill. Because if that does hit, it's a kill. I think that's worth trying. Damn, don't have vision. Maybe a low percentage zap could be worth it. Or a rage strike into a zap. I guess with this lad, I don't have any cover. And then again, yeah, the shock trooper will annihilate Hamilton. He has to be in half cover. Gun, I can go there and flank. There's no good rage strike options. One and two chance to maybe do some damage. Forty percent chance, a forty percent chance to stop the shock trooper. It really sucks to use that, use the command on that, but it's worth a try. like at least that was just a unconscious and not actually hit points damage we can wake her up that's fine again abbot of armor two shots two hits oh god this is gonna hurt this could be a kill on korea oof damage and poisoned fuck Some I get through this with only that hit points damage, I'll be quite satisfied. Oh, yeah. Run and gun on the next turn. So kill everything else, go here, double shoot the elite priest. But Paladin being oh, fucking stasis. The stasis is just the worst. And the mental immunity from the combat drugs doesn't help with stasis. Oh, I hate stasis so much. Seventy-eight. This should become a, a better chance from here now. 88. Kill confirmed. So going here and double shooting the priest is the temptation, but then Diamond just gets finished off. By one, two, three, four. How did I kill the shock trooper? I've forgotten I've killed the Shock Trooper Elite Gunner, Priest. Oh, there he is. The Shock Trooper's right there. So if I can move up, double double shot to kill, the Shock Trooper then just kills Diamond in response. I really needed these two working together. Um, I think I maybe break vision with diamond. Wait, this wall is screwed up. Just because I can't afford to have diamond. How has he got vision there? That makes sense. That doesn't. So where does the shock trooper go? 19 mobility, Jesus. He goes here and finishes off Correa, Correa if I put him there. i got to put Correa here. I think it's the best chance of having him survive. This freeze is going to end. Ends in, in any... In one, any player turn starts. 
So I think the stun just to give me another turn here is my best bet. That's the best we could hope for. I'm under fire. Wait, didn't the stun hit? What happened? Incoming fire. Jesus. Yeah, these shock troopers don't ever miss, eh? Hey? It's fucking terrifying. I need one of the assault troopers to double shoot to kill the priest another one to double shoot to kill the shock trooper and then it's down to the other two lads to provide some some synergy um 25 hit points but Korea does have run and gun but i want to put Korea here kill this shock trooper which means that it has to be hamilton So double shot does, it's a 10 to 14, the chance for 7. The question is, do I need the rage strike? It's 5 to 7, let's call it 6, leaves me with 14. 10 to 14, I just don't want him going into his stasis bullshit. Does it do extra melee damage? It does less melee damage against the sectoid commander. That's very interesting. Soften him up. Move here, shoot twice. I think that's the play. There's a chance that can stun, isn't there? Okay, well, fine. Really? Uh, really? Gee, that's better. <laughs> I wasn't happy about that. I don't need the run and gun to increase the crit damage. He'll still more damage for this to turn. Uh, no, I'm going to leave run and gun up. Whoopsie. Gotta be careful here. I actually don't want the first one to crit. I want the first one to hit without critting and then the second one to crit. God damn it. The running gun here is also tempting though to give me, to give me the crit because if this doesn't crit now, I got problems. Already got problems because is going to be in half cover. Not a problem. At least I don't have to worry about stasis with this lad. Only the best. Beautiful. Now the big danger is the gunner. Can I blue move and suppress him? Probably not. I think instead I'm just throw out some heals here on Bane. I think we take the flank on the priest, try to break line of sight on the sectoid, and then just hopefully get the reaction shot. Actually, Diamond needs aid protocol. Because that gunner quite easily one tap him. Oh, the line of sight lied to me! Securing zone. Just hope that Nugget doesn't get mind controlled as the first action. Yeah, I didn't get it. That's fine, ablative armor. Did it run? The, yeah, the Grey's helps. Please don't miss this, Roberts. Oh. Also have poison. Wow. 
And now if he has line of sight on Roberts, then she's dead. Woo! I forgot to call in evac as well. Many have died trying. What's the move on the priest? We don't have a lot of bullets up. Can I get blanks anywhere? No. Actually, I should instead have blue moved and then I could have ordered one of the assault troopers. Doesn't really help. I think the play here is just to. Oh, uh, what's more dangerous, the sector commander or the elite priest? The elite priest is actually more dangerous. Because the sectoid, if it shoots, it only does three to four damage. Which really is like nothing. I'll take the high road. Oh wait, that's gonna set me on fire now, isn't it? We kill the elite gunner and the priest. The numbers, it really sucks to have taken so many hit points of damage. But look, with only four lads, and I'm not saying I played this well at all. But four man squads, it's really not my thing. don't want to suppress it because that makes it more likely to do you know i do want to suppress it i want it more likely to do some psychic shit because i can just kill it in the next turn after that that looks good missed well it did have high cover fair enough more damage hit points as a resource this mission didn't we sucks huh sure thing. that's right so we still got three turns Heading out. before the network shutdown happens On overwatch. I mean, I can't see the Hector. Oh, it's just around a corner. Now we come here not as conquerors. What? What is this device? Not a problem. Stand put. Ready to rock. All set. We will be getting out of here. I think these reinforcements might count as being in yellow alert. But I'm just going to play line of sight and hopefully not get revealed on them. Two new rebels. We'll take that. Break you. Possible hostile contact. Let's rock. Standing fast. We are not going to bother trying to kill these reinforcements. There's no point. We're not getting any XP for them. Hello, boys. <laughs> Uh, 
This is Firebrand. It's time to go. So everybody got effed up in this mission. I mean, I played like shit this mission, to be fair. But look, it is a enemy flight paths mission, which is one of the tougher ones. And we only could we could only send four lads in. So the fact that we succeeded at all, I should be happy with. Good. Now, I think that's going to reveal the UFO mission, which I'm not going to have enough troops healthy to be able to go do it. I would have to seriously consider pulling out the lads infiltrating in South Africa on that uh, supply mission. Because that, that does mean that the strength goes up by one in South Africa. But if we can complete the UFO mission, it means that we prevent so much more strength from building up. I think untouchable is just too good to not take. Now we're going to get to 15 out of 16 contacts with this COVID action. So we don't actually need to build resistance comps. I could just rebuild the defense matrix in case I need it there. Which honestly, it's kind of unlikely that I need it. Add another cell, additional site op to train there. Can you train both at the same time, I wonder? But I would only do, do a second sci operative if I had a second, uh, a second Templar. I know that there's no reason why to not make more uh, sci troops. And one thing I want to do in a campaign, which I've never tried before, is going for side troopers, like immediately. Doing the sectoid, um, sectoid you, nine days and can be boosted. And we've got location scout. And it's in an area with only three strength. Hmm. Yeah, but see the barracks is in no state to send a UFO mission out now. Wounded, wounded. Uh, I could pull Madasa out, but that would really suck. I could send a Templar. And then just a bunch of task sergeants. Shinobi, Shinobi, Grenadier, Assault. I mean, you, I could conceivably send three Shinobis, all of which have Plasma Swords and Reaper. Let's take a look at the base enemy activity there before considering whether I'll pull this out. I mean, God. Look, East Africa and South Africa are just stuffed. They're absolutely rotten with enemy strength. And I mean, they're just gonna be. I'll just accept that. Focus on the other countries. This gets me some badasses who will be very good at doing the UFO. The thing is, I just don't know what the baseline activity is. And I worry if I fly there to see what it is, and then I decide I need these guys to go to fly all the way back to South Africa. Job shooter, ranger, specialist, I don't want to give this one up either. This gets me the other resistance contact, getting me up to 16. 
And it gets me 29 intel. Gets me a radio tower. Let's take a look. Because depending on what's in there, you might be able to run it with the Task Sergeant Shinobis. Okay, now baseline is horrendous. But then 16 to 18 with a squad like this, let's let's take a look at it. I mean, you know what we could do? We could pull the side trooper out as the Templar's bond mate for the extra ablative and that goodness. Covert action. They're busy on the covert action. It's a staff sergeant assault. Four shinobis. We just go slice and dice whatever's in there. Five of us versus 13 to 15. It actually looks pretty damn good. There's no way. I can't. That's stupid. I can't do that. <laughs> that's so crazy. It just might work. We give them mind control, so I don't have to worry about getting effed up by priests. The concern is, though, if there's even one super heavy mech, I can't do any damage to it because of armor plating. But I suppose I can just stun it. I'm tempted to try this just because of how stupid it would be. Maybe we leave one of the shinobis behind and we take a ranger with blue screen rounds. Okay, who's the weakest here? Staff Sergeant Azimi is the weakest. What's my best direct fire option here? Yeah, Marquez with blue screen. And that's still above the 150. So it's 13 to 15. And we can give him a range shoot so he can relocate for point blank as well. Let's see, advanced expanded. I need an elite expanded. Probably switch that out. Plasma shorty, very nice. Um, the carapace, we go for the front line boys. Give him stasis just to make him nice and beefy. Switch this out for blue screen. I said switch it out for blue screen. The plus three damage to mechanical enemies and remove some defensive shields. If I had one of my rangers that had um, the armor piercing trait then we could have just given him the needle rounds, but he'd need this to help deal with that armor. There's no way I can do this. This is, this is stupid. I can't do this. I can't just send Shinobi spam on a UFO mission. Honestly, they're going to be close enough that I don't think I need the extra mobility from the combat stims. I could, I'm tempted to just give them mind shields. But no, this is better for the damage reduction on the armor. We'll do that instead. Who's got the highest dodge among the shinobis? 53, 40, 53. Okay, so then we give you the serpent suit. A 68 dodge chance. Let's see, Predator Armor. That's just fine. Predator Armor is fine. Overdrive, Overdrive, Overdrive. But actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. You know, the Templar should actually be using a tech vest for the extra armor because then that's two less damage on every hit he takes 
and that will make his ablative armor go further. Inflicts damage on any melee attackers. But the thing is, I can blade storm, power weapon attack, but I can't parry. I'm just thinking whether I want to use Hell Weave. Stasis is probably better. I think Stasis is better for the healing. So everyone can just heal up with Stasis. We don't have any med kits. Arguably, he doesn't need uh, this. Any of these lads have the triple medkit ability. Negative. Oh, that's one medkit in case someone goes down. And then 17 base hit points with one armor. This is idiotic. I can't do this. Or can I? I think coil rifles, this is all going to be so much close combat work that the lack of mobility from giving them these rifles I don't think is going to be too much of a factor. So I want them to have the best hair triggers they can. Scopes, they're not going to be direct firing. They're just going to be overwatching with these guns. This is so stupid. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, locked on free smoke. Uh, Consumer is broken. Gain defense for two turns. That could actually be quite useful. Lone Wolf also is nice. Aim and crit chance. Five dodge also is really good. When there's loads of enemies on the field. Small detection radius. How about you? Evasive is really good. Hit and run. Additional action, taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target with primary weapon. This could allow me to blue move, shoot, and then slash. It's like one extra shot. But with five dodge per enemy you can see. Take hard target on the lads. Just make him super dodgy. Okay, Operation Secret Throne. Secure the disabled UFO. 13 to 15 enemies. We've got... <laughs> I can't believe I'm... This is so stupid. Uh, Zinchenko, Song, Dubrovsky, Marquez, and Jahani. What the fuck am I thinking? If you didn't attack, that's crap. Ranged attacks. If you have moved, that's no good. Let's do it. Let's get the UFO. Right, I'm terrified. It feels like in the last few episodes and in the episodes ahead, I'm pushing the envelope of what I think is possible so, so, so hard. But I mean, we do have to. I think once we expose the network tower here, we can maybe chill with hitting liberation missions for a little bit, because I've got two radio towers that I can do. I even forgot about these guys doing this radio tower mission. I should have forgot about these guys. This radio tower gets us resistance network. This one gets us rapid collection. Then we can just focus on completing these two missions, which takes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, seven off. And I can do this one again for four. It takes the avatar project down to like there. Then we've got all the time in the world to focus on liberation missions and missions that give us uh, facility leads as a reward. Right, thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you tomorrow when we come back. The next mission that's going to pop is probably this one. This liberation mission to hinder advent operations. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five-man squad, but pretty decent. I think that's going to be 16 to 18. We might boost that if we need to. 
What's nice is completing this gives us a radio tower, which we can complete, which then gives us New India for 80 intel, which we're quite close to getting. It'll be 53 once that radio tower goes up. Then we just need New Indonesia and East Asia. 14, 15, and 16. Okay, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for your daily dose of Long War of the Chosen.